All right. Well, this is my third attempt. So, you know, you have to have a good attitude if I'm going to do this three times. I'm here with my lovely assistant. You, she's over in the corner. And I want to thank Megan Walsh for the opportunity to do this. So here we go. What do we got? Okay. Name, age, where you live, and what you do for a living. My name is Robert Wanyu. I live in Castleton, Vermont. Uh, my age is timeless. I'm a septuagenarian, but I'm timeless. I like to feel as though I could fit in any era at any time. And I'm a global educator, as well as a minister, uh, but also very, very, very wrapped up in music. I love music. And music is a way of life, music is a way to connect, music is a vibe. So here I am, vibing out for you guys during this isolation period. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my family, who are just absolutely super duper wonderful people. My daughter Brianna, my son RJ, my daughter Jennifer, and my grandchildren Lily and Dylan. Um, we don't see each other, obviously, because of the situation, because they live in distant places, but we do stay connected. And I think that's one of the most important things, is staying connected. And more importantly, staying connected with yourself during these times of insanity. What's the dumbest fight you've gotten into? The dumbest fight I got into was deciding where do we put the walnuts, on top of the whipped cream or under the whipped cream in our chocolate pudding? And then, of course, we have, can't leave out Mother Nature, who has been ridiculously, ridiculously cruel and mean, unusual, for this time of the year. We've had snow, wind, rain, and almost sometimes all three at the same time out on the trail, because I do work out on a regular basis. I, I do three times a week at least five plus miles and 200 push-ups. And man, it's just got to be a real ugly, 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 ugly day when it's windy, raining, snowing, and sleeting. And there you are, trudging right along on the trail. <laughs> New hobby or skill you picked up? New hobby or skill that I've picked up actually has just been more doubling down on what I like to do. I've been finger picking a lot more on my guitar, and I have been reading and reading a lot about people and, and how they behave and why would they behave in, in really less than nice ways towards each other. Oh, my little pet, Jocko, Jocko, my son's dog, is, uh, he and I are now bacon buddies. There's nothing, I don't think there's anyone who can possibly not succumb to a uh, black lab's look in his face that says, don't you want to give me more bacon? I mean, there's no way around that. So yes, my favorite little pet story is watching Jocko wag his little tail with a mouthful of bacon. <laughs> What's your favorite go-to quarantine exercise? My favorite go-to quarantine exercise is the trail. Uh, as I said, it's five and a half plus miles and also my 200 push-ups. I, I do that regularly. To me, it's, it's about the most important thing I can do for myself during the week. On the bench. Oh, oh, yeah. And on the bench. Where most people sit down on the bench, I wind up using the bench as my prop for doing push-ups. And then they look at me and like, you know, what's up with this guy? And sometimes they walk right by me and don't sit on the bench because I'm busy doing push-ups. But believe me, I am so, 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 so ready to share because I know how nice that bench can be. Best impression leaving Zoom chats. Yeah, Zoom. I'm leaving a lot of Zoom chats because I've been teaching a lot of classes uh, around the world on Zoom. Uh, my favorite move from Zoom, I think you will see that when I try to find the off button to this video. I think you'll get a really good idea on how I deal with Zoom. Uh, my best guilty pleasure is doubling down on all my pleasures, which are ice cream and pizza and potato chips and uh, pasta and you name it. If it's there, I eat it. And your weirdest quarantine outfit? My weirdest quarantine outfit is for now, because it, it varies. And those who know me know that I wear outfits. But this is says Wicked Pissa. So I live in New England. If you're a Yankee fan, <laughs> tough. All right? I did grow up in New York City, so I will say I was a Yankee fan at one time. But Wicked Pissa, that pretty much says it right now for me about how I feel towards everyone. Yeah, man, it's Wicked Pissa. Okay, uh, very last question. Who are you grateful for? I am grateful most, for most anything. My wife, Diana, my lovely children, Jennifer, Brianna, and Robert James, my grandchildren, Dylan, and Lily Claire. So... Boy, it, life is beautiful. And those of you that are feeling confined and isolated and lonely, uh, pick up a good book. Grab an instrument. Call a friend. Call a friend. Don't text a friend. Call a friend. Listen to that voice. It's very soothing. And I hope that everyone 
delights in the joy of life as much as I do, and you share it with all the people that you love. Thank you so very, very much.